today we're here at the High National Diploma Creative Media Production Final Project Exhibition, which features the work of the 2014 cohort, who've worked really hard on their projects. Today marks a very momentous occasion since it's the final project exhibition, which will be held at the Port of Spain campus. Backchat is a satirical news show, taking current affairs headlines and turning it into funny stuff with a fleet of actors, well, local actors. So we reviewed the season finale of the dating reality TV show, Diego from Diego Martin looks for his West Ting. Our reporter, Kesha Vaps, shares this story. Based on our research that we did, it showed that a lot of young people, especially millennials, they get their news from satirical comedies. So we wanted to fill that void. Definitely SNL was an inspiration. Um, Daily Show, Trevor Noah. To me, I think our country is going through so much, but most people don't know about what is going on in their own country, but actually, no, and then also you could kind of laugh about it. It's kind of a good thing. This project seems like a, it's like a stepping stone for us to kind of branch ourselves out. So it did test our abilities a lot. I did a 20 minute radio series. It's all about criminal intent. It's about a girl who seeks revenge on the wrongful death of her parents. My parents were innocent people, wrongfully murdered by someone. I've always wanted to do radio plays. I've always been interested in the fact that you can do so much with sound. It's important to share because it actually speaks to the reality of what is actually going on right now and how easy it is for somebody to find themselves in crime. It was my passion to actually come together and bring this entire thing into what I could call mine. The name of the project was Meraki and it was a website that was designed to highlight the local talent in the creative media industry. The three of us together wanted to do something different and not done before. So we all like art, like different forms of art. So I think the best way to showcase local art would have been the website. The project is important to have because it really promotes our local creatives. It assists with the growth and it also inspires people. So they may have people at home that may think that being creative may not necessarily be for them. However, by looking at the passions of other people and how they went about doing it, it may inspire them to try it themselves. Hi, my name is Amanda Elliott. I am a professional photographer and a radio announcer on Hot 93. I tend to deal with very uh, slight shadows, clean lighting. We interviewed like a few musicians, artists, some, like painters, some photographers, dancers, dancers, fashion designers. Yeah, up and coming, fresh, talented people who can make a difference as well as show how talented our local people are. My website is entitled Connects Photography and the first project, Perfect Imperfection, basically draws on an old Japanese aesthetic design, which is basically that nothing is permanent and there's beauty in everything, even in decay. My project is basically to draw on the sort of derelict buildings throughout Trinidad and Tobago that are in decay and show the beauty in it, and also to highlight the fact that we are allowing these buildings to get to the point of decay by our neglect, and we are losing our history like that. I thought of how to highlight our neglect and still do it in a way that people would be drawn to see what we are doing. And the best way I found to do that was to highlight it in the, in the photography and show the beauty in it. People need to understand that this is our history that is slowly dying because we are neglectful. My project is titled The TNT Health Show and it's a 20 minute web series on health and wellness which focuses on various uh, health issues facing uh, the public with the pilot episode where we focused on um, obesity. Do you know what BMI stands for? Body mass, body mass index. Uh, body mass index. Through research, we found that obesity is very high in the country, which leads to um, various health and wellness issues. People who are obese could be at risk for high blood pressure and diabetes. So we decided to um, focus on this topic, whereby we would uh, document one individual who is um, fighting obesity through diet and exercise. And hopefully um, through his story, he will be able to inspire others who are going through the same health issues and inspire them to um, change their lifestyles. I really appreciate all of the efforts SBCS has helped me in, whether it be not passing something and then get it, getting another chance to do it, or just like getting feedback on why something should be better. 
Um, it was great. Yes, we had ups and downs. Yes, there were things that you are strong in. Yes, there are things that you're weak in. But the actual thing about it is you learn so much. I learned a lot of technical skills, whether it be audio editing, video editing, photography, videography. And as a result, I actually found that I actually love working behind a camera. As I got into the course, I realized how much I love the technical aspect of it, how much I love photography, how much I love editing. And it, without a course like this, I would not have discovered how far I can take my skills. For me, this course was a stepping stone to something greater. The High National Diploma in Creative Media Production is designed to equip our students with a wide range of technical skills and theoretical understanding in documentary filmmaking, photojournalism, script writing, conversion journalism and television news, just to name a few. These are combined with an internship in the creative media sector and of course today's final project. So that at the end of a two and a half year program, our learners can make a seamless transition into the workplace and successfully progress to the BA in Media and Communications, which is offered in collaboration with the University of Greenwich. To learn more about the h and in Creative Media Production, you can visit our website at www.spcs.edu.tt. Thank you.